Taurus, it's your turn for your January reading. This is Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. How are you, Taurus? Okay, so I've already cleansed your space. Um, let's go ahead and invite my spirit guides, my ancestors, my star family, Archangel Michael, to protect the space. I'm going to go ahead and put a protective bubble around us. Excuse me. <laughs> Oof. Sorry about that, Taurus. I just ate some really, really amazing soup that my daughter um, made for me today. She's seven years old, by the way, and she made this incredible. Um, she's she's homeschooled, and so she, as her elective, she takes a cooking class, and that was her choice. Um, and we made this um, ramen soup from scratch, and it was so good. Oh, my gosh. I had tofu in it and ramen and sesame oil and it was just so delicious mushrooms and oh it was incredible anyways i'm so full from that so i keep on burping <laughs> so that's where that's coming from um so i'm gonna go ahead and invite um the spirit guides of the tauruses that watch me welcome to my sacred space of love and healing um and of course you know your spirit, your whole spirit team, Taurus, the Tauruses that watch me. I'm going to invite your whole entire spirit team here with me so that we can tap into your timeline for January. Now, this is a timeless read, but just so you know, um, I will try to be focusing on the energy of January, okay? So whenever you find this reading, Taurus, don't freak out. It's for you. All of my reads are timeless. So, you know, everyone's on different timelines. So, like, when you find the reading... The one reading that you're guided to is the one that you need to, to to hear, right? So I'm a true believer of that. There are no accidents. Mm. All right, what do we need to know for Taurus for January? Sorry for any background noise. Um, good morning or good night, wherever you are in the world. It is 9 a.m. here, so we, it's bright and early. All right, what do we have for Taurus? All right, we have King of Swords. Whoa, that one flew out. I'm going to get a few cards out before I start doing a timeline. So we have King of Swords and is that Nine of Wands? It is Nine of Wands. Okay. So automatically it feels like <clears throat> someone might be a little bit on... Um, either on the defense or someone is either that or someone's really really tired <laughs> two of pentacles we're gonna keep going until we figure out what's going on Taurus okay I'm not gonna dive in until I know what the energy is like for you Ooh, we have a tower, too. What's going on, Taurus? Hmm. All right. Let's get one more card. And if it doesn't clarify why we have a tower, we're going to do a clarifier on it, okay? What else does Taurus need to know? Strength. Okay. We already know. We know that something's going on. I don't know exactly what it is. But we have strength, the tower, the two of pentacles... Nine of Wands, King of Swords. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that, Taurus. It was just a little bit too much background noise. It's really hard when I'm trying to channel, so I'm trying to focus. Okay, so the King of Swords is some kind of something that was revealed to you, Taurus, okay? <clears throat> and it made you feel really defensive. I see that there's some walls that went up. Um, it left you feeling really vulnerable. But also at the same time, almost like you had to put your guard up, okay? And, you know, you literally felt like you were at the end of your rope, okay? The strength card is showing me that you're, you're way stronger than you give yourself credit for, Taurus. Like, the strength card is, you know, obviously it's, it's the card of Leo, but... They're showing me with that, the tower and the whole um, nine of wands, like you are way stronger than you give yourself credit for. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that out there right there. 
right now. Like your spirit guides are saying they're so proud of you that whatever it was that was meant to break you, it didn't. I know it feels really, really crappy. And I'm, let me just give you a huge astral hug right now <laughs> because I can tell that you recently have went through a lot. I don't know what it is, but you know, the tower combined with the whole two of pentacles tells me that, you know, you had to come to a really, really hard decision, right? And there was something very unexpected that you weren't expecting. And you had to be, um, you had to put your defenses up. You didn't have a choice. Okay, but you handled it beautifully. All right, so why do we have the tower card here? I don't know if they're going to let me peek into your timeline as to what happened, but let's ask about it. Oops, that flew out. We have the six of pentacles so this could have been something in regards to your finances maybe you were giving out way too much financial wise and you know or someone was taken from you financial wise and they weren't you know giving the energy back it doesn't have to be financial wise but you know it's a loaf of bread so to me it seems like finances right um, and the Six of Pentacles is about give and take, right? It's about giving and then receiving. So I feel like you are involved with someone that maybe wanted to take more from you than you had to offer. Now, whether that's financial wise or whether that's emotional wise, I felt like you really had to make a decision to cut this person out. Whether it's a it was a romantic involvement or, you know, a friend. One second. Okay. Sorry about that, Taurus. <laughs> Um, my child had something that he needed. Okay, so whatever the case was, Taurus, this person was not giving the same equal energy. So I feel like you had to make a really tough decision to cut them out of your life, okay? And like I said, it's going to be different for everyone. It, it could have been a romantic partner. It could have been a business partner. It could be even have been a family member, right? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how. It's going to play out different for all of you, so... That's what I see was going on there. Um, so let's pull some cards from the Sacred Bee Tarot and see what other advice Spirit has in regards to the situation. Looks like we're just going to be, I don't know if we're going to pick up on something else or if we're just going to be talking about that. So, um, But hugs, like you, that's a really tough decision to make and you did a phenomenal job. You did perfect, Taurus. You did exactly what you had to do. So... I don't want you feeling any guilt about that in any way, okay? All right, what else do we have for Taurus, okay? So, yes, yeah, so if this hasn't happened for you yet, and it's, this isn't going to resonate with everyone because, like I said, it's a general reading, but if this is your story and it hasn't happened yet, just be on the lookout because, you know, fair warned is fair warned. So, now you know... That someone might be trying to take away from you, right? Okay. All right. What else do we have for Taurus for January? Wow. So we have the High Priestess. You know what? So some of you already have an idea as I'm doing this reading of who it is. And you're like, oh, yeah. Like, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because, you know, the High Priestess is about using your intuition. Your guys' intuition is on point right now, Taurus. You know, it doesn't surprise me. Taurus is like a beautiful earth sign and you guys are definitely, wow, five of swords. So some of you are, this person might have already started to create some conflict in your life and this whole situation is just feeling, make, making you feel very out of sorts and very defeated, right? You're definitely not down for the count, okay? I feel like this person... Either way, it would have turned out the same. I don't I don't think that this person even realizes the amount of damage that they've caused. To me, they feel kind of like naive, you know? It's like they don't even realize. Six of Swords, earned success. You know what, though? I see you really moving on very quickly from this person. 
you know, we have six of swords, which shows me that you are moving on. Okay. You're leaving all this conflict behind. You're, you're just like, you're done with it. Your intuition already let you know that this situation was getting out of hand. And so you're just, you're done. You're done with that person. And as soon as you let this person go, Taurus, let me tell you, whoever, whoever they are, um, you're going to, your life is going to get so much easier. <laughs> like the energy shift is going to start, um, the energy blocks are going to start shifting for you. You're going to, things will come easier. You know, the six of swords, it says earn success. So you're going to feel like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. Okay. Oh, see, look, and then we got six of cups pleasure. So there's two sixes here. Okay, that tells me that the five of swords, five is about change. So once you make the decision to let go of this person, it's going to balance out your energy. Okay, the two, the high priestess is number two, which is the energy of balance. Remember, and then we had the two of pentacles as well. So that's going to balance everything out and then it's going to tip things in your favor. Okay. Okay. The sixes are all about going into a deep spiritual journey, you know, and it's about using your intuition to take the next step of your journey and your spiritual journey. So, you know, you might be, it sounds really crazy right now, but a lot of people are going through this where they're cutting off people and it's because, you know, a, um, there's this energy in the air for a lot of the signs right now and just for the collective in, in general where everyone is sort of cutting people out of their lives because the spiritual shift has been really marked and it's been like and marked by marked I mean it's been um, it's been really really heavy the shifts into you know the spiritual path so if you are on a spiritual path and, you know, obviously, most likely you are, if you're watching me, you know, I, my readings are about awakening and about ascension and spirituality. So if you're watching this, I, I know that you're on some kind of a spiritual path, right? And so the spiritual journey has really gotten really, um, I don't want to say tough, but I want to say it's gotten pretty, um, God, what is the word I want to use here? It's gotten really real and serious for a lot of people during this time because the ascension symptoms have been really ramped up, okay? Because we're entering into the age of Aquarius. And so things are shifting really quickly. And, you know, the higher your vibration is, the faster things are moving for you. The more your manifestations are like, coming in super quickly and things are just shifting at a very accelerated rate right now at this time for everyone okay and we're all on different vibrations and frequencies and timelines but for the most part things are still shifting really quickly for the collective at a whole and so the two sixes tell me that at this point in your spiritual journey you making the decision to move forward away from this person and go into the six of cups you know you're done with this energy of looking back okay you might for a little a split second look back on this energy and go wow like and i it seems to me like that could be the reason why you're having such a hard time cutting this person out of your life because when you look back the six of cup tells me that you do have a lot of beautiful memories with this person and especially if it's a family member and it's almost like, do I really want to do this? But I think you're making the right decision to move forward away from this person. The nostalgia will go away and it's going to it's gonna give way to lots of pleasure and success, okay? I recently stopped talking to my birth mother. So, um, you know, and she's my blood mother. And I just, I had to make that choice because I had to do what was best for me. The relationship was becoming way too toxic. And though it was a really hard decision, I know it was the right one. All right. So we have seven of disc patience. Ooh. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to take that because it didn't really come out right. Sort of fell out as I was. Okay. So we're going to get a few more cards and then we're going to move on. All right. What else do 
we have for Taurus? Why do we have the seven of this? Nine of swords. Wow. So there could be something work-wise, right, that you've been working really hard on. And I see that it is going to work out for you, okay? Um, we have the nine of swords, which, which tells me that whatever it is in regards to your work situation, you might be really stressed out about it or stressed out about your finances, right? There's something in regards to your financial situation or a work situation um, where like you feel like you've been really patient about something, you've been busting your butt, you know, in regards to work and yet there's something that is keeping you up at night. But it's, it's not... I don't want you to worry about it, Taurus, because I see the energy feels, it feels to me like you're going to be fine. There's, I don't think that you need to worry about that. I think that the thing that's keeping you up at night is just more your anxiety and your stress about um, the work situation, right? But I don't see anything actually happening, okay? Things are just financial wise and and in regards to your work things are going to be a little bit slow you're going to have to be patient okay there is something in the way okay so this is just your anxiety and your stress keeping you up at night nine of swords is you know nightmares despair it's staying awake at night worried about things right and again, we have eight of swords, which is this energy of being in your head, being in your thoughts, worried and stressed about things. The only thing that's doing is creating more interference. If you look at that, it's creating a blockage to what's coming next. So try not to let these thoughts get in the way. Your patience is paying off, right? In regards to this, whatever it is you've been waiting for. I feel like it's something in regards to work. It doesn't have to be, but look at this. I told you it's going to work out. Okay. This is the nine of cups. It's happiness. It's everything you ever wanted, right? It's a wish fulfillment, a wish coming true. So whatever you're waiting on and wishing for, whether it's something work related, you're going to get it. You're going to get the raise. You're going to get the promotion. Okay. There's something blocking the energy. And I feel like it could be those negative thoughts. If it's not that, there is some other type of blockage and energy blockage, which I feel like will clear up if you get rid of this toxic person from your life. Now, I'm not saying to get rid of this toxic person. I'm only reading the energy and I'm letting you know that removing this energy from your life by the energy, I mean this person, I see that it's going to get rid of a lot of these blockages. Okay, everything's going to balance out. Okay. All right, so that's your reading for January. Um, I'm going to do a Moonology card for you, and then I'm going to pull a charm for you, and we're going to be done with your reading, okay? So my advice to you, Taurus, would be to be patient. Things are working out for you, okay? It's just going a little bit slower. There might be some energy blockages. There might be a blockage in a chakra system, but it's going to clear up and it's going to clear up on its own. You're not really going to have to do much other than, you know, taking back your energy and taking back your power from this person that is taking advantage of you, my, my beautiful Taurus. You definitely deserve so much better than that. Don't let anyone take advantage of you. You are incredible and you don't deserve to be treated like that in any way, shape or form. Okay. Remember that my beautiful Taurus. Okay. All right. What else we got here? <clears throat> We're going to pull a Moonology card for you. Sorry, I thought your reading would be more chipper and more fun, but it, it seems like you are going through an awful lot right now. So big hugs, my beautiful Tauruses. I, I definitely understand this energy. It's been really rough for a lot of the signs. Okay, we are definitely not taking all of those spirits. What else? What's the final advice you have for Taurus? Now we're going to end with a charm for you. All right, so we have focus on the positive. See, even spirit is saying it again. Those negative thoughts, those things that are keeping you up at night, okay? They're creating blockages, I told you. And spirit's 
Final word of advice to you is focus on the positive, okay? We have new moon in Sagittarius. Now, we do have a new moon coming up, actually. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's right. It's coming up right before the full moon. You can check on the calendar and see. And so during this new moon, it's really important that you focus on the positive, okay? Spirit is saying, don't let your thoughts get in the way. You have something really beautiful coming in. You have to allow it to come in, though, okay? By focusing on everything good and positive in your life right now. Thoughts become things. Remember that, Taurus? You don't want your negative thoughts to create negative um, outcomes in your life. We want to focus. And I'm not saying like be, you know, toxic positivity. Of course not. You know, if, if something happens, you have every right to feel into your feelings and to accept loss and accept grief and anger and all of those, you know, emotions that, that people claim are negative. Those are not negative emotions. Those are just emotions. Now you have the power to either feel those emotions and let them go through you or to sit in them. So what spirit is saying for you is to not sit in them. Allow yourself to feel the emotions. We're not going to feel high vibe and like overly positive every day, right? Shit's going to happen. Life is crazy sometimes. But for the most part, they want you to do your best to create positivity around yourself. Do those extra really fun things, Taurus, that you love. Whatever it is for you, listening to rock music, um, you know, watching a movie, you know, smoking a joint. Whatever it is, I don't care. Do more of it. Okay, I'm giving you permission to have fun. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pick a charm for, me, for you from here. It might be kind of loud. My eyes are closed. You can't see what they are. Ta -da -da. All right, we have the boot. Can you see that? Uh, purple boot. All right, let's read it. Um... So I don't know if you watch the masculine or the feminine readings, but I talked to my spirit guides and got a long list of these beads and I went through and we got the meanings for all of them. Um, they told me what all of them meant. See, I have a whole container of them and I went through and did them all individually and took a really long time, but you know, my spirit guides gave me all the tea all right boot it says oh god how fitting so i'm going to give you the love message and also the normal message so the normal message is this it, it represents stubbornness so <laughs> taurus i love you you know that i do but taurus is the notorious sign um of being stubborn Tauruses are notorious for being stubborn. You know, you guys are the, one of the most stubborn signs in the zodiac. So spirit is saying, try to go with the flow. Try not to be so stubborn when it comes to anything in regards to this situation that I read, you know, that I read you on, okay? Make sure that you're being um, personable at work. If you want this raise, try to get along with everyone instead of being stubborn. Don't shoot the messenger, Taurus. I'm just giving you the message. All right. Okay. And this, so the love meaning of the boot is sexiness. There's someone, whoever it is you're thinking about right now, the person on your mind, they find you incredibly sexy. Oh, incredibly sexy and seductive. So that's, that's a plus, right, Taurus? All right, so if something resonated, please go ahead and like the video and also subscribe is completely free for you, my Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Until February, bye-bye.